Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. We're still in week 21 of the 52 week 2016 Eating Healthy Challenge. We have a great menu lined up for you this week. We hope you enjoyed week 20. Week 20 was kind of a combination of recipes from weeks one through 19. So I thought everybody could use a little bit of a break. We're almost getting to the halfway point and using some of those recipes that I've heard from viewers like you and people who follow us on social media that you really, really enjoyed. So if you've not had a chance to check out our weekly menus, recipes, and YouTube videos like this, I would love to invite you to like us on Facebook, Foothills Wellness Center on Fire Healing. So again, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Melissa Leroy, and I'm a holistic nutritional practitioner currently working with Dr. Joseph Picone at Foothills Wellness Center. So let's get started. This video today is actually, or this afternoon, Sunday afternoon from my kitchen, is going to be a mushroom and herb strata. So we're going to go ahead and make this ahead Sunday afternoon so that way we can slice it take it when we're running out the door and it'll be a quick grab and go breakfast for us so let's get started so the first thing that we have done here if you can see in the pan is we've taken a medium onion we diced it sauteed it in about two to three tablespoons of olive oil extra virgin olive oil then eight ounces of button cap mushrooms we just kind of quartered them sauteed those as well and then added a half of a cup of fresh parsley to it. So we're going to slide this over to the side. So we're going to start here in our bowl. So in our bowl we have six actually large duck eggs that we're using today. So we're just going to go ahead and whisk these up. Once you get that good and whisk all those yolks actually broken up and all that mixed together, we're going to add two cups of milk. So I've chosen here unsweetened almond milk. This kind of gives it a nutty flavor. We're going to be adding some cheese to this, and it's just going to enhance the flavor of the cheese using the unsweetened almond milk. All right, so we're just going to give that a quick stir here with our fork. Now, here's the step that if you wanted to, you could actually add salt and pepper. I choose to add salt and pepper actually when I'm eating it, so I don't typically cook with salt and pepper. Occasionally I will. This recipe, I choose not to do that. So we're then going to add half of a pound of gluten-free bread that we have cut into little cubes here. So this is actually um, made in a bread maker. This is Bob's Red Mill, simply, I think it's simply homemade gluten-free bread mix. It's wonderful. So I've just halved that loaf and actually cubed the bread. Hopefully I can get all of it in here. Now the majority landed on the floor. There we go one that away. We'll pop him in there real quick. Okay, so we're just going to quickly stir this. That way it can be soaking up all of that egg yolk mixture with that almond milk. The next ingredient that we're going to add is the cheese. So this is Fontana cheese that we have here, fresh off the block. We just grated it just a few moments ago. This is about half of a pound. We're going to add this to the mixture. And I apologize if you're hearing some noise in the background today. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Western North Carolina. So we've got neighbors all around us out and about, some dogs out playing. They're having a grand old time today. We're just going to loosely stir that as well. Last, however, not least, we're then going to add our onion, mushroom, and parsley mixture to the egg yolk mixture. Now remember, when you saute this onion, you're going to saute it for about three to four minutes by itself. Then you're going to add the mushrooms in there. And the mushrooms are going to add just a little bit of liquid when they start sauteing. So you're going to then have to saute the entire mixture with the mushrooms about another three minutes. And you're going to want to watch that pan until all of the liquid has kind of been absorbed or evaporated. And then that's when you're going to add in your parsley. Now, we're going to pour this into a pre-greased casserole pan. And that's where we're just going to kind of mix it some more and make sure everything's even here. To serve this, this also makes a great brunch, a Sunday brunch. If you have family or friends coming over, you can serve this for a Sunday brunch. If you're going to serve it for a Sunday brunch, one of the best things to serve this with is about four cups of mixed greens. So just go to your local grocery store, get some of that organic mix that has everything in it. 
and then just toss it in about two teaspoons of white wine vinegar and that makes a perfect side for this strata. It goes beautifully with that. You could also, if you wanted to, add in some spinach and bake it right in with this strata as well. Completely up to you. The options and the variations are endless with this. So now we're going to pop this into a preheated oven, 350 degrees, and it's going to bake for about 50 to 60 minutes until the eggs are set. Then we'll let it cool. We'll actually cut it into little squares, and it'll be a great grab-and-go breakfast for my family this week. So I want to thank you for watching. Happy and healthy eating.